the question of how the universe originated and whether it was created from nothing is a topic of great scientific and philosophical interest. The prevailing scientific explanation for the origin of the universe is the Big Bang Theory. According to this theory, the universe began as a singularity, an infinitely dense and hot point approximately 13.8 billion years ago. The universe can create itself from nothing. That's a flat contradiction. And then to say the universe can create itself, that's logical nonsense. If I say that X creates Y, roughly speaking, I'm saying if you've got X, you, you may in the end get Y. But if I say X creates X, then that simply proves to me, sorry for being provocative, it simply proves to me that nonsense remains nonsense even if high-powered scientists say it. It's like if a baby gave birth to itself. The Big Bang Theory describes the evolution of the universe through different epochs. Planck Epoch is the earliest non-epoch lasting from 0 to approximately 10 to minus 43 seconds after the Big Bang. During this phase, the laws of physics as we understand them break down and the universe is in a state of extreme energy and temperature. From 10 to minus 43 to 10 to minus 36 seconds after the Big Bang, the fundamental forces of nature, gravity, electromagnetism, and the strong and weak nuclear forces were unified into a single force. The universe undergoes a process called inflation, during which it expands exponentially. Lasting from 10 to minus 36 to 10 to minus 12 seconds, the electroweak force separates from the strong nuclear force, leading to the differentiation of the electromagnetic and weak forces. Particle interactions occur at high energies. From 10 to minus 12 seconds to approximately 1 second, the universe is filled with a dense plasma of particles and antiparticles. As the temperature decreases, particles annihilate each other, leaving a surplus of matter over antimatter. This epoch, which spans from about 1 seconds to a few hundred seconds, is characterized by the formation of atomic nuclei, primarily hydrogen and helium through nuclear fusion, lasting from a few hundred thousand years to about 380,000 years after the Big Bang. The universe transitions from being a plasma to a transparent ionized gas. Photons move freely for the first time and the cosmic microwave background radiation is emitted. Starting around 380,000 years and lasting for millions of years, matter begins to dominate over radiation. Dense regions of matter collapse under gravity leading to the formation of galaxies, stars and other cosmic structures. From around 5 billion years ago until the present day, the expansion of the universe accelerates due to the influence of dark energy, a mysterious force that contracts gravity and cosmological skills. Now, regarding the concept of singularity, it refers to a point of infinite density and temperature at the beginning of the universe as described by the Big Bang Theory. It is important to note that the singularity is a mathematical concept that signifies the breakdown of our current understanding of physics. It indicates that our current laws and theories cannot accurately describe the state of the universe at that particular moment. The topic of the universe's origin and the nature of the singularity raises several intriguing questions. What caused the singularity to undergo the Big Bang? What existed before the Big Bang and can we ever know? Is the singularity a result of natural processes or a product of some external cause? What are the fundamental laws that govern the behavior of matter and energy at extreme conditions such as those present during the singularity? Can we develop a theory that unifies all the fundamental forces and explains the behavior of matter and energy at the singularity? While the Big Bang Theory provides a well-supported framework for the origin and evolution of the universe, there are various theories and ideas related to the singularity and the early moments of the universe. This theory proposes that the universe underwent a rapid and exponential expansion in the fraction of a second following the initial singularity. Inflation helps explain the uniformity and large-scale structure of the universe observed today. This is a theoretical framework that attempts to reconcile general relativity with quantum mechanics. It suggests that space and time are quantized at extremely small scales potentially resolving the singularity problem. 
string theory posits that fundamental particles are not point like but rather tiny vibrating strings. It attempts to unify all the fundamental forces including gravity and offers potential insights into the behavior of matter and energy near the singularity. Quantum cosmology seeks to apply the principles of quantum mechanics to the entire universe. It proposes that the universe can emerge from a quantum fluctuation, with the singularity being replaced by a quantum state that evolves into the expanding universe we observe. It's important to note that these theories are still areas of active research and the nature of the singularity and the origins of the universe remain open questions. Scientists continue to explore and refine our understanding of these concepts through theoretical investigations, observational data from telescopes and particle accelerators, and experiments aimed at probing the fundamental nature of matter and energy. In summary, the Big Bang theory describes the evolution of universe from a singularity, an infinitely dense and hot point. The theory encompasses different epochs, each characterized by distinct physical processes. However, the nature of singularity and the precise events leading up to the Big Bang are still subjects of ongoing scientific investigation. Various theories such as inflationary gap, loop quantum gravity, string theory and quantum cosmology offer different perspectives and potential explanations for the origin of the universe and the behavior of matter and energy at extreme conditions.